Hello, welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today, today I have a sweet and sour sauce, chicken wings, rice, spring roll, cucumbers. Yes, I got that from my local China Chinese restaurant. And I got a cookie, a fortune cookie. Let's get into the scripture of today. And it is, it is good. Um, yeah, this is it. Is verse of the day, Luke 9, 24. And it says, for who, whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But who, whosoever will lose his life for my name's sake. And I think that's for some, oh, I got an airplane mode. <laughs> I got it on airplane mode. I got it on airplane mode. I had it on airplane mode because I was going to try to record on my phone, but I was having too many technical difficulties. So I was like, no way. Like I'm having now. No way. No way. Luke 9, 24, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's eat. I'm hungry. Have y'all ever tried the spring rolls? They are good. Mm, 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 mm. They are really good. I don't have utensils. Well, Looks like I'm just gonna have to use my fingers. Mm. Look good. How are you all doing today? Mm. So good. Hope everybody having a good day. So I'm just gonna have to use these. Mm. My weakness. Car. Carbs, carbs. I hope you have a food good. It's delicious. It really is delicious.
I'm sure a lot of people have seen the um, the video, the picture of just going around. I think it's uh, Botham John brother embracing um, Amber Guy Geyser. Is that how you pronounce it? And people have people have different emotions, you know, about what they feel. The, the brother did the right thing or um he he didn't do the right thing. But You got to look. Let me look it up. I want to be make sure I'm giving the right information. Um, okay, this was last year, last year, September, that both of them, uh, John Patton got killed by Amber, which was the police officer. Um, He said his bro his brother said he didn't want him to go to jail. He praying for her. And he wanted her to hug. He wanted to hug. But listen. Uh, mothers, um, we can't speak, we can't speak as if you have not lost a child, you really can't speak. So we can't tell a parent how to grieve. But as uh, someone that has lost a sister, a sibling, a year is to allow, uh, a lot of time to reflect, a lot of time to spend time with God. It, it's not just like it happened yesterday. <clears throat> this was last year. So I'm sure this brother has had time to grieve and to seek God and to pray and to pray for um, the police officer. So, <coughs> nobody knows what they would do until they in that situation. So, you can't say what you will and won't do. <clears throat> and you don't know how God would deal with you on certain issues. My sibling didn't pass away because someone took her life, but I'm okay with it in my soul and in my spirit <clears throat> that she's not here. I have to be. If I want to continue to live, you know, 
for God. I have to be. So, and of course, everybody had their own um, opinions, assumptions about it being slave mentality and this and that. We just got to look to God. But at the end of the day, he is the ultimate judge about and who are we to say who shouldn't be forgiven for what? Who are we? Who are we? Yes, justice should be served. Do I agree with the sentence? The 10 years? Of course not. No, I do not. An innocent person's life was taken. Bible say, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. Only, only light can chase out darkness. We can't keep being angry and mad. You got to, you got to keep showing love and keep showing kindness. And keep showing Christ. Only light can chase out darkness. We don't know what this brother went through since his brother's murder. Because losing a brother or a sister and you close to them, you got to spend some time with God. For answers and comfort. In, a, in the society where we're so ready to counsel people, you got to show love, though. And I do not agree that it's no slave mentality. Uncle Tom, people got us um, brainwashed or thinking this type of way. Have you ever stopped for a second and say, maybe it's God to show us, to show the world, this is what you do. This is what you do. Everybody want to be so angry. Could I have done it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But is this young man teaching us all something? Of course. Indeed. So. That is definitely my take on it. I got my Buffalo um, Wild Wing for my cucumber. Cucumber. 
come out with work as a palate cleanser. Um, I never think that we can all learn a lesson from this. This is what being Christ-like is. Not about Oh, she killed my brother, so I'm going to get even with her. This and that. That's what the Justice Court, just what the criminal the just department is in all of the law enforcement is in place for. But when stuff like this happens, and we don't agree with the, uh, the citizen, and we feel, feel like the citizen is unfair, then you do something about it. Then you open your mouth. Then you uh, sign petitions. Then you march. But you can't control nobody's heart. You cannot. You can't control nobody's heart. Allow him to forgive. Allow him. So, I've seen activists, uh, preachers, pastors, I don't have people bashing this young man because he embraced this police officer. How dare you? How dare you? Your plight and your fight and your disgust, uh, your disgust, your anger is not towards the brother because he, he opened up his heart to forgive. It is towards the justice system. You let that fuel you. Don't let what he done with his walk with Christ, don't let that be your main focus. Your that main focus. Okay, this wasn't fair. So what are we gonna do about it? You got you have huge platforms to air out the fact that you didn't agree and call this a slave mentality. How dare you? God created man in His own image, and in the image of God, He created him, male and female. He created them. In his own image. Okay, what? Do you not think that Christ would not embrace Amber? Of course he would. Of course he would. Tell them how to forgive. We gotta learn how to forgive. Gotta learn how to forgive. I'm drinking uh, I'm a, a cup and it's just pink lemonade, simply pink lemonade. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And share the love. Share the love. Share the love. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. And in all you're getting, get understanding. 
Serve God, serve people. Love God, love people. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.